Hey guys, this is Angie, and today I'm going to show you how to cover a composition notebook. Here's one of the composition notebooks. You can get them pretty much anywhere, and they're super affordable. Okay, so here's the one we're going to make today. Here's the front. Here's the back. Now, this is one I made previously. Notice it does not have the rounded corners. I prefer the rounded corners, so this is the one we're going to make. Okay, so let's cover the fabric that you're going to need. You need three pieces that measure 11 by 16 and a half. And this first piece here, this is the front cover of our um, composition notebook. The second piece is considered our backing fabric. And the final piece is just an extra piece of fabric because the composition notebook is black. And if you don't have thicker fabric, it's going to show through. So that third piece is just so that we can't see the black through there. You could use batting and you could use fusible fleece. Both are more expensive and the batting is a little bit thicker. It may not be more expensive, but it's thicker. So I wanted to keep the weight about the same because I'm going to be sending these to my um, downline. Anyway, okay, the next piece of fabric that you're going to need is two of them and it measures 11 by 8 inches. And what I've done is I've folded it in half and pressed it. So that's 11 by 8. And now what we want to do is we want to take this over to the sewing machine and we want to make a decorative stitch down this side, the right side, quarter inch seam. Notice here, this is the side that opens. Don't sew that closed. We're just going to put a decorative stitch right here and let me show you where that is. It's right here on the very edge and technically you could skip that step. I just think that it's a nice addition to it, okay? Oh, and I did change on this one. We used muslin. I'm using pattern this time, okay? So I'm going to go over to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam down the right hand side. And then I'm going to show you how to sandwich all of these. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my two panels right here. I'm making sure that the opening is over here on the left side. I'm just going to place this here on my sewing machine and we're going to be sewing a quarter inch seam and I'm actually going to change um, my uh, stitch to a zigzag and I'm just going to make it a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm just going to put the needle down and start sewing. Okay, I'm going to meet you back over at the station. I'm done with the first panel. I'm going to do the other one off camera. Okay, so I am back from the sewing machine and you can see um, that I stitched down this right side on both of them. I did a little zigzag stitch. I don't know if you can see that. And now all I want to do is just kind of trim these extra threads just to get them out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to sandwich this because then we're going to take it to our sewing machine and sew all the layers together. Okay, I'm going to get these out of the way. So, what you want to do is you want to place this first piece that we're going to put down. This is either your batting, your fusible fleece, or your extra piece of fabric, okay? That's your very first piece. Your next slip piece is going to be your cover to your composition notebook. That's going to go right sides up, okay? The next piece is you're going to take your panels, make sure the opening on this side is over there, okay? Just like that. And then this one, the opening is going to go to the right, and that's over here. And then your last piece is going to be your backing fabric, and that's going to go right on top. Now, if your backing fabric is a pattern, you want to put it pattern side down. So that would be right side down, okay? 
Now what we're gonna do is pin it, and then we're gonna sew. I've got my pins here. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom, and I'm gonna start just about right here, and I'm coming in about a quarter of an inch because um, I am use my seam guide with my walking foot. You don't have to use a walking foot, but I will tell you, I think it makes it a lot easier because you we are going through a lot of layers, okay? So this is where I'm gonna start my stitch, but I need to stop because we need to leave a three to four inch opening so that we can flip this inside out. So I've got this pin going in this direction. I'm gonna take this one and put it in the opposite direction. It really doesn't matter how you do it. This is just how my brain works, okay? So beginning and end. So now what I wanna do is just pin all the way around so that nothing shifts as I go over to my sewing machine. Um, well, and I'm putting my pins in wrong. Because of the, the seam guide that I'm using, I have to put my pins on the inside because otherwise I can't follow the guide if I put them on the outside. I'm gonna go over to the corner here and let me move this. And then down here, I don't think you can see me down there in that corner, so I pinned this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna pin over here. You don't have to pin too much. I would say just one in the corners um, and then one on each side, except you know, you've got your start and your stop. So this one's kind of in the wrong place. This one goes here. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna cover this one more time. I'm gonna try to film me at the sewing machine. It may or may not work, so I'm just gonna explain it. I'm starting here. So in a quarter inch seam, I'm gonna to get to this corner. I'm gonna raise my um, foot, but not my needle, pivot, and then go and all the way around, okay? Okay, so I have added my walking foot to my sewing machine. Here is my starting line. I've got my quarter inch seam marked. I'm using this ideal seam guide. You can use whatever method that uh, that you use. But because I'm using the walking foot, the um, quarter inch is sometimes a little bit more challenging for me. So that's why I'm using this guide. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen out for my start position. And I'm just gonna go all the way around with a quarter inch seam. I will probably put you on fast forward, okay? Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and you can see that I sewed a quarter inch seam around the entire thing. You do wanna make sure and turn it over and make sure that you didn't um, miss any spots or go off the fabric. Whereas you can see right here, I got a little close to the edge, but this should be okay. If it's not, I'll turn it back and we'll start over. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is take our scissors and we're just going to trim and don't get too close to the thread, okay? So make sure you look on both sides before you do so. 
and you're going to do this to all four corners. This is what's going to give your um, notebook cover those rounded edges instead of the square edges, okay? Now, we've got our opening right here. Remember, we left a three to four inch opening. So here is where the magic happens. Now, I forgot to grab my ruler. I have a, um, I have one of those binding rulers. Is that what it's called? Binding ruler? The binding tool ruler. And what I do is I put that in and it helps me get the points back on my edges, but I can probably use my fingers. Okay. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you and tell you, I will admit that I watched a lot of different videos on YouTube and went to a lot of different sites this composition notebook cover thing has been going on for a long time. Um, in fact, I have a couple videos on my Chicken Scratch channel uh, covering it with um, cardstock, with paper, the de designer series paper. Uh, but I wanted to do a fabric one, so I went and searched for the measurements. And I swear everyone had a, a different measurement, a different way to do it. And I ended up um, <laughs> taking about six or seven uh, different tutorials and and truth be told it actually took me five attempts before I got it right okay now what we want to do before we press it and before we seal our hole here is we want to make sure it fits because uh, like I was saying earlier I, I made five of these before I got the measurements down pat okay so one of the things you're going to have to remember is that when we go over to the sewing machine, we're going to sew a quarter inch seam. So that's going to tighten this up by a quarter inch on all four sides. Okay. If you tighten it up more than that, you very likely will not, it will not work. Okay. So I can tell it's looking really good. I do want to make sure that I just sew a quarter inch seam and not any greater. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press this down, make sure it's nice and straight, and then we're going to pin it, and then we're going to sew a quarter inch seam around the entire thing. So I'm not going to show the pressing here on camera. You guys have seen me do that enough. Uh, so I'll meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, so I've got it back on my sewing machine. We're going to sew a quarter inch seam around the entire thing. Okay, I'm back and I just got done sewing around the entire thing and it looks pretty good. Let's trim these threads here. And then I'm going to show you that the notebook fits. Uh, that was another um, important step I think in this video is that uh, if I don't show you how the notebook fits, you don't really know if the measurements I gave you are accurate. I'm going to go ahead and press it really quickly. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I had already ironed it previously before we uh, sewed it closed. Okay, so which side do we want to be the front? Um, our choice is this side or this side. My quarter inch seam got a little off on this side, but it kind of did on this side as well, so it doesn't really matter which side. It's the same on each side. Okay, so now we're going to insert this in here, just like that. Put this one in here. 
I think this is an important part to show you because it's nice to see that the measurements I gave you do actually work. So here's the back side, here's the front side. You open it up. Yeah, it works. Looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so what happens if for some reason you it doesn't work for you? Just check your seams, okay? Because if you'll notice up here at the top, you can see my quarter inch seam. That makes it perfect for the top of the notepad or the notebook. And the same thing for the bottom. It's a quarter inch seam. If your notebook doesn't fit, then your seam is off. And that's all you need to do is just rip out the seam and start over. Because the 11 by 16 and a half is the exact measurement on all three pieces with the exception of your pockets. And those were... 11 by 8, folded in half and pressed. Okay, so I think that wraps up this video. It does, actually. So if you need anything, let me know. I will provide a PDF with all of those, um, all the measurements on a pretty PDF so that you can print it if you'd like to. Take it over to your sewing machine. I know not everyone has a computer um, or access to watch video in their sewing room. So have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.